we have the three main structural divs in place, the left, the main, and the footer. Now we need to write some CSS rules to describe where they will appear on the page. This is very tentative. As the layout continues to develop and more rules are being written, we may need to go back and tweak these, but at least they'll be somewhat in the position that we need them to be for the time being. I'm going to start out just by doing a little bit of investigation here. I know that the, the graphic that I used for my H1 tag in the background, I'm just checking out here in my H1, the width of that is 396. So that is the width that I will need the left div to be as well. So with that in mind, I will create the new CSS rule for left, pound left, this document only. And before I forget that, I will move to the box category and enter 396. I also know that it will float left. For now, that's really the only property that I need. As I've mentioned in the past, sometimes I will come in and add a background color or a border or something to help identify where the divs are actually sitting on the page for troubleshooting. So I'm going to enter that right now knowing that I will delete that in the future. All right, so that is doing its job. It's floating, it's pushing as far as it needs to over to the left and allowing the other content to sit next to it. The next div that I'll write, or the next rule that I will write rather, is for the main div. So pound main, this document only. It will also float to the left, and it really doesn't need a width, but just to kind of contain it and hold it in place and make sense of it for now, I am going to give it a width of about maybe 700. And what else? I know that it's floating left. We've done that 700 and I'll put in a lovely background color for that as well. Okay, so um, what has happened there that that did not take hold in my code? Oh, in my code, that's why I have the rule and I have div ID main, but instead of equal, I have a minus sign. Nope, not a plus sign. There we go, an equal sign. That should take care of that. All right, so even the teacher has issues. Um, in my design view, I can see that it's not quite moving up where it should be now, and part of it is a, a space thing. I just simply do not have enough room to have this 396 plus the 700. As soon as I make some adjustments, however, and give it more room, I will be able to see that it's sitting next to that the final structural div then that we need to get a rule written for is the footer. There's room for it, so because these are both floating to the left, it's trying to sneak up here and sit next to that. Of course, as the footer, we want it to appear under everything. New rule, and it can either be an ID or written in the compound section. Footer. And its main job is to just clear anything that may already be floating. So box category, clear both. Um, that's it. I know there are other pieces of information that I will share and add eventually, but for now I'm going to click OK. And sure enough, there it is underneath both of the divs clearing. Now while I'm here, even though it's not a structural div, there are things that I know about this layout. I know that the background color is orange and I know that the text for the most part is a sans serif font. So because those are kind of main properties that need to be inherited by all of the other rules, I'm going to create a body rule and write those rules, write those properties within that. So new rule and um, this is actually a tag, but again, you could, you could write it in the compound just to save yourself some time. And let's see, I know that the background color is the lovely orange. And I don't really have a sample of it, but I'm going to choose this 
and the type I will choose a sans serif family. I'm going to do the trebuchet Ariel Helvetica. Okay, so we have the main things in place. At least we have things in the position, although uh, lots of work to be done yet.